welcome to Collection Connections, The One That Got Away. This is a new feature I developed to tell the stories of toys, comics, and other opportunities lost. Many of us have stories of our mom giving our comic collection to their cousin to scribble on while they were away at college, or maybe lost out on getting that key sketch commission by making another stupid decision. Every story is different, but they are all the one that got away. The Place, Kamikaze 2013. The time, Halloween weekend. Several guests were delayed after a shooting at LAX. However, the show still went on. Looking back, this show had an awesome lineup. During these times, the show was known as Stan Lee's Kamikaze. There were lots of top tier comic guests, as well as the actors and reality stars that are prevalent now. Some of the guests were Stan Lee, of course, Herb Trempe, Len Wein, Humberto Ramos, J. Scott Campbell, Mark Silvestri, Kevin Eastman, John Romita Jr., and from the entertainment side, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Edward James Almos, Bruce Campbell, and Lou Ferrigno, to name a few. The show was fairly new in Los Angeles and still had that intimate feeling. My entire reason for going to this convention was to get a sketch from Herb Trimpey. Herb is most famous for his stretch of penciling the Hulk in the 70s, including the first appearances of Wolverine in Hulk 180 and 181. Although I love Wolverine as evidenced by the insane number of sketches I have of him, most followers of Collection Connection know G.I. Joe is my favorite. Herb drew many G.I. Joe comics, including the iconic cover for G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero Number 1. He also sketched many of the concepts for the characters for the classic comic. My plan was simple, either a Wolverine sketch or a G.I. Joe sketch. As an X-Men and G.I. Joe fan, I was already a huge fan of Trimpey. But I had also just read up on him in order to make small talk with him as I waited for my commission. He had changed careers pretty late in life after struggling to get work done during a crunch in the comics industry. During that time, he picked himself up by his bootstraps and got his BA, then became a teacher. His story was one of vigor and determination. Since there had been the shooting at LAX, several artists were running late, including Herb Trimpey. Cut to me walking around the convention center and browsing the scene. I saw a small booth. Wow, I thought. This is the Toy Hunter booth from the show on the Travel Channel. I cruised up and checked out the setup. I noticed blueprints for the original X-Men toys and started talking to one of the workers when suddenly... See any of our drawings? You know we have Storm. The best thing about the X-Men is the, the X-Women. Women. Let's do it. Even with the blue... Just like that, I had no budget for my Herb Trimpey sketch. Man, I thought. I'll have to catch up with him at the next convention to get that sketch commission. I can still get a picture with him and have him sign my Hulk 180 comic. Much to my chagrin, Herb Trimpey passed away 18 months later on April 13th, 2015. I was devastated for many reasons. My sketch was probably the least of them. We lost a great that day, his family most of all. They lost a husband to Patricia and a father to his four children. My loss as a fan and collector was magnified by my ego of wanting to be on TV. Being on that show for 10 seconds cost me my chance to make a connection with a hero and a legendary artist. I lost my chance at the piece that would always be a reminder of the time I got to hang out with Herb. I am happy to have gotten the picture and the comic signed, but Comic Cause 2013 will always remind me of that decision. For Collection Connection, I'm Nate the Great, and remember to pay homage to the greats. There is no telling how long we will be blessed with their presence.